this is the uh, program I use Pinnacle Studio version 12 okay I'm recording right now and I'm using the the 330 little hard drive camcorder here okay now I'm gonna stop recording now what I have to do is I have to take and plug this into the uh, computer which I'm going to show you and then I'm going to have a whole bunch of mod files in there it's going to be a pain in the neck to try to find the one that I just did because they're just numbered and it's much harder to use to get videos out of this thing and this may be the problem you're having trying to get the videos from here into your editing program and then getting them up onto YouTube. I'm going to show you how I do it. It may not be the best way, but it's the only way I know. Okay, the first thing I did, of course, naturally, you plug your USB uh, cable into your 330 camera. I have to excuse the mess. I have a very crowded room here. We live in a mobile home, so you ain't got much room for anything. Those of you who do live in a mobile home know exactly what I'm talking about. So with this cable here, we're going to plug it in. Now, I have two computers. This is a uh, 2001 model HP with uh, Windows XP. It had the basic and I upgraded it. This is the one I use all the time for the internet. Uh, but here is a 2.7 gigahertz processor uh, HP uh, A305W, which is what I use for doing all my video and editing. After I do my video and editing in this computer, I put it on a flash drive and then bring it in to this computer bring up YouTube and send it out to YouTube okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this is the USB 2 cable which goes up here to this computer so I'm going to connect this up now okay the first thing I'm doing is bringing up my computer okay this is on the A305W 2.7 gigahertz processor. This is the one, as I said, that I do all my video editing on. I do not have, I, I have internet on this one, but I primarily use this computer for uh, video editing. Turn on to MG330 and I put it into play mode. and as you can see you just step down to I have very bad eyesight so I got a backup you put it down to backup and hit OK alright and then you're gonna get your hard drive showing here over here here's my uh, here's my folder for I just cancel out this and what I do is no, I'm using the hard drive so I'm going to use this one this is quite difficult for me to hold this and try to get everything lined up too okay hang on just a minute alright let's see is this the one I want okay I think it's this one all right, here's some mod files here. You've got mod. Anything with a mod file is the video. The MOI is information file. Okay, now as you can see, this has got to be, uh, what I usually do is I rename them. Uh, if I have a bunch of them and I don't know which is which when I bring it into my pinnacle. In this case, I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to rename it... Um, 330-T-E-S-T dot M-O-D. I do not change the extension on that. Because if I do, it's going to uh, screw it up going into Pinnacle. Okay, so now as you can see, it's 330 test M-O-D. So I haven't done anything. This will still play. It's just renamed. 
And there it is. Okay, I'm recording right now. Okay, so now I can find this when I get into Pinnacle. We'll stop it right here. And we'll stop this recording so I can get into uh, Pinnacle. Got my Pinnacle up. Now, as you can see, here's all the video clips that I did with my camera and describing everything outside, which you'll see on the video here. So if I was to clip on this here now, it's going to play it. The JVC MG Z, uh, GZ330, I think it is. I don't know. I can't, can't remember all these model numbers. Okay. Now, all right, that's the AVIs. Now, here is the test one. Okay. So what I do is you bring them down into the storyline here. Of course, this has got it. This is only a test here. This goes into the storyline, and uh, it'll be put in the proper place. Okay, I'm recording right now. Now, because this is a mod, as I said, it's going to be very jerky and, and stops, the, but it plays fine once it's converted. The 330 little hard drive camcorder here. Okay. Now, if I want to add more stuff, let's say I want to just take and put this in here. I just go down here like this. And, uh... First of all, okay. the, as you, the people that have these cameras know that... Okay. So this is basically it. The Firewire makes it so much easier because the videos show up right here. Uh, on this video, I have to name him, leaving the mod extension alone, of course. I have to name him so that they will, uh, so I can find. Anyways, the uh, Pinnacle program, when you're ready to uh, make the movie, then I'm not making it now. But if I was to make it, this is where I set it. Windows Media, high quality, and right now there's only one. Uh, there's only these two frames up here. Naturally, this video, right now, what I put in here so far is 18 minutes long. So we're going to do a lot of chopping on this thing. But anyways, when I'm ready to convert it, I'll hit the convert. Okay, it'll bring up a where I want to put it. In this case, I copy to video studio 12 stuff that's my folder where I, I name this and then click OK and when it is done and after it's all done and the way I want it then I'll stick my little flash drive in this flash drive here or a number of others and it's already been converted when it's already converted to Windows Media as I showed you I'll put it on here of course, naturally, this uh, flash drive will be already plugged into uh, my video editing uh, computer. Put the M Windows Media video onto here. Remove it. And put it on into my older computer when I'm connected to YouTube and just uploaded it. See that that short little 330 test MOD file Look how huge it is. It's over 20 megabytes, almost 21 megabytes. Now, look at the AVI, which is 18 minutes long. It's over 4 gigabytes. So this is why these videos have to be converted. You can't send an AVI up like that. Even if YouTube allowed 4 gigabytes. Of course, it's unedited. It would have to be cut down and, you know, there's parts I want to take out of there. If I was, if YouTube allowed four gigabytes of a video to be up there, it would take me a week to get it up at my DSL even. So once this is all converted, this file will be about, it'll be under 100 megabytes, this entire um, video, which will be no more than 10 minutes long, and it's probably going to be in two parts. Well, I hope I uh, was able to get some information out of that. Uh, these tutorial videos can run into hours sometimes trying to explain something. It's very difficult to do it and chop it down and get it all into 10 minutes. This will probably be an, end up to be a, at least a two-parter. I hope not, but I have a feeling it will be. Thank you for watching.